This is Friday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. So they're setting up Jesus as usual with a false dichotomy. The disciples of John who fast and the disciples of Jesus who don't. The real Jews and the phonies. Predictably, Jesus cuts through their noise. He talks about the bridegroom, but he might as well have quoted what St. Paul would say 20 or so years later. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom isn't about what we do so much as how we do it and why we do it. Eating with gusto and a joy that radiates and enriches is quite different from eating a meal with gossip and slander. Eating at the tasty diner in Bethesda with love for one's companions is quite different from eating at a prestigious spot on K Street with folks who feed on prestige. Jesus always points to the interior person and asks, what do you have in there? If it's just old wine, he says, you won't be able to take on board the new wine that I have to offer. My wine, he might say, brings an interior peace and interior joy to those willing and able to drink it. But it will be bitter to those whose words and attitudes are bitter. How can you receive a spirit of welcome, inclusion, and warmth into a heart filled with anger and resentment? How can you receive a spirit of justice and equality into a heart filled with prejudice and intolerance? It cannot be done, of course. So we have the choice of staying with the old wine and rejecting the new, or to change the metaphor of remaining with the comfy slippers of yesterday's leisure or putting on the bracing running shoes of today that can run us into a brighter future. Change is difficult, of course, and comfy shoes can calm our fears while running into the unknown can stoke anxiety. But Mother Nature tells us that it's all about change, living and dying, new life and old life, new varieties and dinosaurs. So how will we choose today? Jesus calls us to courage because the world needs our courage. Our politics call us to courage because the church calls us to courage, both because both need the vigor of new wine in new wineskins. Let's rejoice today and drink the new wine of courage and hope that only Jesus can give.